everybody, this is Jake with CSCI Training Institute, and today we're back giving you another tutorial. Today we're going to briefly discuss on how to safely and effectively uh, draw your sidearm out of your holster. This is something that we primarily taught in our security courses and our little bit further advanced courses. However, with license to carry now in effect in Texas, uh, it's something that we felt the need to incorporate a few discussions into our license to carry class and a few of our other advanced weapons courses. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating to, uh, with y'all utilizing just a simple level 2 web gear holster. Uh, I'm using a, a training firearm. Uh, however, uh, it's very important for you to practice these at home, uh, at the gun range if, you, if they allow you to. Uh, and also note that whether you're using a level 1, 2, 3, or further advanced holster, it's imperative to know exactly at all times where that holster sits either on your belt or in your pants. Uh, know exactly where that weapon is and how you're going to get to it. Uh, practice this at home, either in the mirror or by yourself, doing it slowly and focusing on each move. Know each move that you're going to make and know exactly why. Uh, and be able to build some muscle memory to get to that. Uh, it's proven that when we're under some sort of duress or in a stressful situation, you're either going to revert back to your old habits or to what you most recently learned. So that's why it's very important to, uh, to practice these and build that muscle memory. However, with that being said, I will, I will tell you all to make sure that you all practice y'all's gun safety. Uh, preferably, uh, get your hands on a training weapon, a blue gun, or something along those lines. Uh, if you do choose to use your real weapon, make sure you're in a safe environment. Uh, pay attention to where you're pointing your muzzle. Uh, make sure, make sure double check that there is no live ammunition in that weapon while you are practicing. Uh, the first thing is always know that don't ever make that movement towards your gun. Don't ever draw that weapon out of your holster without the intentions of using that firearm. Uh, that goes true at the gun range. Uh, that goes uh, true whether you're in a uh, some kind of confrontation. So you're either going to start in a handful of positions. You're going to be at the ready position, hands by your side, behind your back, in front of you, what have you. Today I'm going to start just a simple uh, ready position, hands up here, ready to go. And I'm going to make that first that first movement that's a two part. The two parts is my first hand is going to go immediately uh, to my weapon. Uh, make sure, once again, like I said, that muscle memory, you want to be able to know every time exactly where that weapon is and how you're going to get to it. The second part of this first movement is your, is your non-gun hand, your non-firing hand. That's going to go over your belly button. So with one movement, hand over the weapon, hand over the belly button. As I'm getting to here, I'm still assessing that situation to make sure that I actually need to employ my firearm. So, as I'm making this movement, I'm coming up with the weapon and I'm meeting this hand at my belly button. Now, uh, with the most common holster that's used right now is the Blackhawk Serpa. And uh, those holsters actually have a retention release uh, trigger right here on the side of the holster. It's a fantastic training tool. If you can pick one up, I would. I have one and I love it. Uh, However, it's, just, it's a great tool to have and it's good to practice because it forces you, when you release that trigger, as you're pulling up with your firearm, that finger is automatically going to be parallel to the side of the weapon. So, I'm at the ready, coming down with part one. I'm bringing this weapon up, fingers parallel to the side, to the side of the gun, and I'm bringing this weapon out here in my belly button, I'm meeting it with this other hand. As here, I'm rotating the barrel parallel to the ground, pointing it at the threat of the target. Uh, if you'll note, my finger is still parallel to the slide of the gun. My finger is not inserting into the trigger guard at all until I'm ready to fire. So I'm coming up, I'm meeting it with my other gun, or with my other hand, and I'm bringing the gun parallel to the ground. From here, the next movement is to push this weapon out. Don't raise it, don't come to the side, don't hold it cockeyed. You're simply pushing this weapon out of your chest into the target. From here, you are putting your finger in the trigger guard and you are ready to fire. You finish your course of fire and your finger automatically comes out of the trigger guard parallel back to the side of the weapon. From here, once you finish your course of fire, it's that simple. You're bringing this gun and you're reverting your steps. You're bringing this gun back in. From this position, uh, you don't have to holster automatically. Uh, right here, you are still reassessing that situation if you need to continue your course of fire or if you're ready to reholster your weapon. 
So as I reholster, I'm bringing the weapon in, I'm bringing both hands down, hand back to the belly button, simply putting it right back in the holster. Uh, it's not a very complicated process, but it's something you do need to become familiar with. Uh, one of the things you need to remember is that slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Uh, practice that way and you will get quicker as you go, but just remember to get these steps right, learn that memory, and it will become fluent to you. So I'm going to go over it one more time at a little bit quicker speed, one steady movement. It's just bring it up and out, in and back down. Uh, as you're doing this, noting that that weapon is parallel to your leg, but nothing is ever pointing at your toes, your stomach, your abdomen, nothing, nothing about that nature. Uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope that y'all have gotten something out of this video. I hope y'all take the time to do practice this. Uh, it's something that could potentially save your life. Uh, it could save somebody else's life. It's, it's an awesome tool to learn. Uh, be sure to stay up to date uh, on any new videos that we have coming out. Uh, excuse me. Look on our website. It's at cscitraininginstitute.com. Uh, these videos are on there as long as any other new ones that we post. Uh, we have a full uh, catalog of courses uh, with costs and the hours that they are. Uh, check that out. Uh, reach out to us anytime for any questions uh, that y'all may have. That's it for today. I hope y'all learned something great and take care.